Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Think of Thema. I'm Amy, this is my partner Maggie Hello. and this might be our most ambitious record <laughs> yet yeah. because as you can see we're in San Fran and we have the Golden Gate Bridge in we the do. background which yeah. is beautiful. It's a beautiful sunny day, a little windy though so hopefully our audio sounds okay. There are so many people around us which is why I'm kind of half talking quietly because yeah. I'm just waiting for that moment where the dog comes running in and the people knock over the camera. Yeah, so if you see the camera go like that. It's That's probably what happened. But anyway, let's talk quickly. Yeah. So what have we been up to? Well, obviously we're no longer in Las Vegas. No. Uh, so we had a great f couple of days in Vegas. We actually went fishing. So we mentioned we were going fishing. Yeah. We caught so many fish. Yeah. Well, which we was caught so fun. one well, each. We caught one each. people that took us fishing they caught, caught more. all the fish. So yeah. we got to have a feast of fish, which yeah. was amazing. Yeah. Our friends, uh, Carol and Jared, cooked those up for us and we had a beautiful dinner. Yeah. Um, and then not long after that, we actually headed out of Vegas mm -hmm. and we didn't have any plans. No. We actually hadn't booked the second half of our trip, much to the astonishment of lots of people that we told that. But also, because you're a very big planner. I am so a big planner. That's but because very of, unlike you. Yeah. Because of COVID and because of the fact that we weren't sure we were actually going to be able to get here, mm. I hadn't booked everything because I thought, you know what, we're prop. There's oh, a dog. Here, here, here come the puppies. Here come the puppies. See, you can see them. Um, <laughs> so cute. Because there'd just be more things to cancel if we couldn't make it. So, yeah. um, but what happened was when we were at Dice Tower West, a lot of people had asked us, are you going to Gamma? Gamma mm. is the Game Manufacturers Association and they are like the industry body for board gaming and they were holding their expo mm -hmm. up in Reno in Nevada. Yeah. And the marketing manager was, uh, Rachel was very kind to organize some last minute tickets for us. Yeah. And so we jumped on a plane and last minute decided to go to Gamma. Yes. And this is an interesting kind of um, con because it's a B2B con. So it's um, so business to business. Yes. Publishers really trying to um, get their games into stores. So there's retailers and yeah. publishers making deals, selling games. Um, and this is really the first time where they wanted to do a big push for media to be there. Mm. And so it was really interesting to see that other side of board games. Yeah. And yeah. we spent, uh, we were there from Tuesday through to Friday. And um, it was really different. We were just uh, being showcased a lot of games that were upcoming. Yeah. Um, we won't talk about all of those here. We uh, will probably play them all this year at some point. That's, yeah. But it was nice to just get an overview of how they worked. Yeah. Um, and then at night we would get together with some of the other content creators mm. and play some games. Um, and then they also had a big expo hall, which was really cool. That we was spent, really cool. Yeah. yeah, we spent a lot of time wandering that expo hall, talking to publishers and really meeting with some of the people that we've talked to for a long time via yeah. email. Um, but we did get to meet some fellow content creators that you might be able to recognize. Yes. Um, a big one for us was uh, actually Alex from Board Game Co, mm -hmm. who didn't know until the last minute because we didn't that we were going to yeah, be didn't there. Yeah, we didn't know that we were going to go either. So, yeah. um, but it was so nice to finally meet in person. And we had we were, we were met at this like first look media event mm -hmm. uh, of new games, but then after that, he was like, well, what are you doing now? Yeah, um, we should play a game. Like, we should play a game. I was like, we would love to play a game, but we've only got these games that Amy bought at Dice Tower <laughs> from the West from the flea market, yeah. and I don't know how to play them. And he was like, well, what did you bring? And so we listed the games, and one of them was Stefan Feld's Luna. Mm. And he was like, if you give me 15 minutes, I'll... he hadn't played it, but he's like, yeah. give me 15 minutes, and I'll learn it, and we'll meet in 15 minutes and play. Like, what 15 like what? one five <laughs> to like, learn a game that you've never played and he's like yeah it'll be fine that you've never played so yeah. you in 15 minutes so we parted ways 15 minutes later we got back together yeah and alex taught us luna yes. <laughs> that amazing was, that was very impressive amazing super yeah. impressive i like i wish at least one of us was able to comprehend games that quickly. Like the number of games that we'd be able to get through. No wonder he's that. able to get through so much yeah. content. He's such a talent. He has yeah. such a, like, obviously that's the way his brain works. Yeah. Um, he, he did say that he watched a couple of videos and sped read through the rule book, but the ability to it's sit amazing. down and then teach in yeah. a really comprehensive way. Anyway, we had a great game of okay. Luna with Alex. Um, and then actually later that night, we went to a board game bar in Reno. The Glass Die. The Glass Die. Glass die. If that, you are ever in Reno, yeah. go and check out the Glass Die. It is an amazing little bar Such with a, a great ambiance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
yeah, great games. So it's, it's a shop as well. So they have a great selection of games. And then the bar, as you were saying, and then uh, a board game library. So you can kind of grab some games and, and play there. It's not a huge place. So there's probably only, I don't know, like maybe five-ish tables. But the selection of games, even in the library, it was so up to date and so well curated. I was very, very impressed. And just the mm-hmm. vibe in general, like the atmosphere of it. Um, they don't really do food, but they have all sorts of different craft beers. I was um, getting into the root beer, which I really, really love. But yeah, just, ah, oh, it really made me want to like open a, a board game a board cafe, game cafe. <laughs> at some point, one day, maybe. So we also met with, I thought you were going to go on with the story, but no, well, she's just like, I just want to own a board game in. cafe. And I that's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, let me do all the talking. Yeah. Well, we've got, we've got a full, like we've got. We do, but I was just going to talk about timeline. when we went to the di- uh, glass die, we got to meet some other content creators. So we um, met Mark from Board Game Coffee, yeah. which was awesome. Um, we also got to meet the um, guys from Kin Spleen, yes, which yeah. is really cool. Yeah. Um, and Devin from Quackalope was yeah. there as well, playing games with us. And uh, we had a great time. And then uh, while we were playing, so what did we play? We played a game of Decrypto. We, we did. played a game of... We played French Toast. Yes, I was again, about to which say. Which we talked about before. Yeah, we played yeah. French Toast, but what we didn't do last time we played French Toast is play with the designer, yeah. Peter Haywood. So we were actually we all playing together as a group and Peter yeah. Haywood was like, I think I know you all. And um, he came and joined us and taught everyone French Toast and we played along and we had a great game mm. of that, yeah. um, which was really awesome. That was a lot of fun. A yeah. lot of fun. Yeah. Um, what else did we play? We played another game of So Clover, which we've kind of, you know, it's, it's in the hotness at the moment. Lots of people have that game around, so we played it a few times. It's probably Probably not for us, only because it's cooperative and it's yeah. also a word game. Yeah. So it's a cooperative word game, a bit like Code Names, where yes, everybody loves that. Mm. It's very similar to Code Names, actually. So yeah, clever. I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because um, you're trying to make connecting words that can link other words together. So yeah. in that way, it's quite similar. I feel like it's less stressful than uh, Code Names because in Code Names, yeah. you have the two teams and it's like the pressure is on. Whereas in this, you know, once someone's sort of done their clover and put mm. their clues, then as a team, everyone gets to chime in and so it it felt a lot more relaxed and more jovial than the tense you Mm. know don't mess this up we only have you know and I don't think anyone actually scores when they play it either it's kind of just like one of those games where like just one where it's just a bit of fun it's more about the experience yeah not so much yeah Um, what else do we play we played uh, Raja's of the Ganges the 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 dice dice game Mm -hmm. Um, that was really fun another teach uh, great teach by Alex so that was really cool yeah Um, what else did we play I think that was it for that night yeah, yeah, a lot of like smaller games we got through that night. Mm. Um, yeah, but what else did we do while we're at Reno? Can I say Reno? Um, surprisingly pretty town. Uh, yeah. I was expecting the casinos and like a smaller version of Vegas, which which it is, and there yeah, are there's elements of that. But yeah. the surrounds of Reno is uh, mountains, and we were there at a really nice time of year because there was no snow in the town, mm-hmm. but all of the surrounding mountains yeah. were covered in snow, which yeah. is really beautiful. Beautiful landscape to yeah. frame everything so it's like you you know if you went on a ride somewhere or even if you looked out you Mm -hmm. know to the horizon you always had like mountains with snow over the top which is really beautiful and also like a nice sort of chilly uh cool breeze Mm. all the time which was yeah really nice as a background Mm. and while we're at gamma we also got to um play some other games um obviously we met a lot of other people we met eric from uh what's What's eric Eric playing Uh, we met Ray as well. We met like a lot of people that we wanted to meet for a long yeah. time. Put up with Amanda Panda again. Amanda Panda was there. Tim Mativier from Meeperville yes. was there again. We had a Play. great game of innovation, <laughs> yeah. which we then taught um, some other people, and that was a big hit. Yes. Um, yeah. Oh, and can I just talk about the fact I had such a fangirl moment. You did. Where I wasn't expecting this, but I turned the corner in the expo hall, and there was a whole stand dedicated to taco cat goat cheese pizza the party game (laughs) and if you have been watching this channel for a little while you know that i absolutely adore that game maggie not so much she thinks it's a little bit violent because of the putting the hands in the (laughs) center i don't mind that now we have we've kind of house ruled house ruled it so that instead of everyone reaching to the center particularly when there's a lot of us it's like you just you're sort of slapping right in front of you it's more coven safe as well as well um but i love this game and i love it because it's a real energizing game if you haven't played it before all you're doing is turning 
a card over on your turn and saying the next word in the phrase taco cat goat cheese pizza yeah. if the image matches what you're saying everybody has to slap and there are a few other cards like the gorilla where you have to beat your chest and the narwhal where you have to make yeah. the like haunt. Yeah. and it's just Groundhog. a silly yeah. fun game yeah. and i really i like to use it in between um heavy games because it energizes the room mm -hmm. and if it's a group of strangers it does this really nice thing where it just makes everybody laugh and yeah. it brings everyone together really quickly mm -hmm. so i have have multiple copies of this game. <laughs> yes. I have four copies of this game. This is true. And I usually throw it in my backpack if we're going somewhere. Mm. And um, not only was the stand there, but the designer was there. Yeah. And the designer signed a copy of Taco Cat Goat Cheese Pizza for me. So I I must have been the biggest fangirl that came by You're that stand that like day. You were red and giggling. <laughs> I was and just like, like yeah. oh my goodness, I love your game. <laughs> um, so that was hilarious yeah. and uh, unexpected. Yeah. And yeah, what else did we do at what Gamma? What else did we do? We met the designer of finger guns so that yeah. was a game that we talked about a lot in the last yep, video we yep. played a lot of it at um dice tower west yeah with the joy um, friends, yeah so we just Naveen as well not not again but at dice tower west yeah happened to bump into him along the yeah. way and we also met frank the designer of um isle of cats mm -hmm. yeah uh, so we did get to meet a lot of these people who um you know you just wouldn't I don't know if we'd see them if we went to a big Gen yeah. Con or something. Yeah, you probably we might not get the yeah, opportunity. And also because it was only like it's mostly just retailers, and there was only probably just a handful of, of content creators or media. You actually got quite a lot of time to be able to talk to them because it wasn't. Yeah, it's so it's not as mm. much of a it's not really a gaming convention in that you don't really get to play a lot of games. It did have an evening every night. It was like a couple of hours of, of gaming, but that that was actually quite crowded and we didn't actually we ended up kind of walking around yeah. and not really playing but you do actually get to spend some time talking to the publishers talking to some of the designers so it's very different very different Ooh. vibe which is cool to have the contrast coming after um dice tower west which obviously was more all about just playing games yeah yeah and then we were well we were given a few games to review um there were a couple of publishers there that we have had a relationship with mm. but um, because of the shipping situation to Australia, it's been yeah. really hard to send us a review copy of some games. Um, and so we were given a few at the end of the expo. But mm -hmm. what was interesting about that is we had very little space in our yeah. bags. And so we were, someone suggested to us a packing hack. Best hack Yeah, ever. why don't you explain yeah. the packing so hack? So essentially we're like, how are you going to fit all these boxes? And they said, well, you know, one of the things that can work well is if you punch everything out so that you, you sort of, flat like yeah you kind of take out all the components and then in any dead space that you have in the boxes you can put other boxes or just like pack boxes within boxes and then all of the different components separate yeah. um, in other areas and so we did that and that was amazing that was amazing and actually we had brought some games with us mm -hmm. and we should have done this from the beginning but yeah. packing small box games in big box games yeah. that is a great packing hack yeah. I, I can't believe we haven't thought of it before. I know. It's it like once you do it, it's like it's once so you do it, there's so much dead space, and a lot of times like there's those inserts like that are just the cardboard anything. ones, yeah. and you can yeah. actually fold those yeah. down, and then you can fit like two small box games in every big box. Yeah, fantastic, and it meant that we were able to make it to San Fran. Exactly. And here we are in San Fran. But before we went to San Fran, um, we actually, well. Once we got to Reno, we decided that we would drive out of Reno. Mm -hmm. And so we, we planned to drive from Reno to San Fran because Maggie's never been to San Fran. And we drove via Lake Tahoe. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I mean, people have said that Lake Tahoe is beautiful. I was not prepared. I was not how, prepared. Like, breathtaking those views it was stunning yeah. and we drove on this it was perfectly sunny mm -hmm. and but it was also there was snow still on the ground mm -hmm. um so because you're driving the, through the mountains as yeah. well and so there's like you're in the mountains and there's snow all around you um, yeah but so there's snow around the forest kind of area mm. um but the roads weren't covered in snow so no. i feel like it was this like nice in between of still getting yeah. to experience that winter yes. element without having to deal with snow everywhere and having um, yeah. you know having to drive through that mm. um, so it was absolutely perfect
perfect. And yeah. we just, we drove, we basically just drove along um, Lake Tahoe mm -hmm. and we pulled over at anywhere where there was like a sightseeing spot. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we pulled over and we had coffee on the way. And then we drove into San Fran. And some people had, you know, warned us a little bit about the traffic in San Fran. Yes. To what Eric we, in particular. Yeah, <laughs> once like, we hit don't San get there Fran. past this hour. You don't want to hit peak hour. It's pretty wild when you get there. And so I was a little bit anxious about that. Maggie did all of the driving, um, which I was very yeah. grateful for. Um, and when we got close to San Fran, though, it did get a little bit scary. It did, that yes. It was, it was coming close to, like, peak hour, and it, it was certainly, um, like, a rush for – everyone was, like, competing over yeah. multiple lanes of traffic. It was interesting. We've driven in L.A. before, so – and, you know, traffic's not always great in Melbourne and Australia always. Mm. So we were kind of prepared. Yeah. But it was still a little bit daunting when you're in a rental car, not your own car. And you're <laughs> yeah. like, oh, my goodness. And we also only got the car for the one day. And so yeah. it was like picking it up in the morning and dropping yeah. it off. Yeah, so we and had so we to get in like, by 5 yeah, p.m. Racing to get there by before they close. So, so just, drop a, it off. just a little bit of stress. Just, just add a little bit. Just of, a little bit of stress when you don't know where you're going. It, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, we, we got here fine, dropped off the car fine. And now we've been in San Fran and... Um, we're basically just touring and seeing the mm. sights. Um, yesterday we did a lot of walking. We've been doing a lot of walking yeah. since we got here. After three, over three weeks, three and a half weeks of travel, mm. oh, my whole body really hurts. Yeah. Like we have it's, been it's pushing taken it. a toll. I think. Two cons. And I always say this, I'm always like, three weeks is probably a good amount of time to wear a web because at that point, like, everything starts breaking down. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Um, so if you're seeing like, a little no, tired, we're that's leaving, why. We want to make the most of it, so we're going for a month, like, okay. Um, but, but we also do a our lot. Body, yeah. We do a lot when we travel as well. Like, yeah, we some people might take it easy. Nah, we yeah. try and pack in as much as, as, much <laughs> as possible. So yesterday we did a self-guided walking tour mm -hmm. um, through the Castro. Oh, that was awesome. Which is amazing. You've never been. And yeah. um, the Mission area area as yeah. well and yeah. um, we took in all of the street art along yeah. the way yeah. um, and in the Castro it was it was we really cool museum. we went to the museum which is like an archive or it's like uh, all of the historical kind of queer events mm -hmm. and activists that have really made a difference in San Fran and of course impacted on the world mm. um, it was really nice to just take the time out to walk around and read through all of that yeah. got a bit emotional oh, of course yeah, I was a mess of was course like a afterwards mess. we were like, like oh just... we just need to sit down yeah, for a bit yeah, and yeah, like yeah. Whew, it's so cool to see, that. like the like I didn't know the history about the the rainbow flag, so the original mm. design, um, and and the artist who actually did all of that, and then they actually had there the original like rainbow flag. Yeah, which apparently that was lost for a really long time, mm. and they've only just found that recently. So yeah. that was really cool to see, and of yeah. course read about Harvey Milk yeah. and um, other activists that have really made a difference. So yeah. that was really special, mm. um, and of course then we walked through the mission and. Both of those areas are really lovely, lots of shops to go check out. So mm. we kind of just wandered all day and uh, looked around. Yeah. We've been... Um, <laughs> I kept going every time we would see any uh, bridge. I'm like, is that the Golden Gate Bridge? <laughs> every bridge, every like, bridge. And he was like, no, we've it's been like an it's hour of San Fran. Yeah. Um, it's like, is that it? It's like, no, that's a tunnel. That's it's like, is it. that it? No, that's a building. <laughs> <laughs> and then when we finally saw it, I was like, Maggie, ask the question. Yeah, she's like, like, is that? And I'm like, that, is that it? That's it. That's, that's it. it. That's the one. Um, we yeah. also went down to um, the ferry building, of course, which is a, a well-known yeah. like foodie hotspot. Yeah. But on a Saturday. Today they have a farmer's market, so we went That's down to really the farmer's cool. market. Yeah. We had a great toasty. Oh my goodness. So delicious. So many cute doggies. Oh. San Fran is such a doggy friendly, doggy crazy city, and I love it. So many like we probably it's probably every five minutes I'm going, oh my god, look at that doggy. It's oh my very god. True. <laughs> we're here and we're seeing all the best sights of San Fran yeah. and Maggie is just I'm making down, a photo just... diary of dogs. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, documenting all the doggies. Like, oh that's so cute, yeah. that one's so cute. We're really also missing Boston. Like we're kinda of getting yeah. to that point where it's like Aww. Time to go you home know, and see little, Boston. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. Little, um, little guy. Yeah. yeah. And then we also went to, so today's Sunday, we also went to another farmer's market. Yeah. 
which now I've totally forgotten the name of where we were, Fort Mason. Nice work. Fort Mason. Yeah. I took some uh, imagery over, so yeah. we'll put it on the screen as yeah, well. Yeah, Farmer's yeah. Market, where we had a breakfast burrito, we had a beautiful pastry. Oh, so that, so that we, twist. So oh, it was like a, a cinnamon, cinnamon twist. twist. It was amazing. So flaky like a croissant. It was just... So good. Um, yeah. So we have been still eating our way around <laughs> as well. But we're getting like 16,000 steps a day, so yeah. I'm hoping that'll kind of balance. It'll all balance yeah. out. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, so next we are heading back to LA and eventually next at the end of next week we are flying out of LA after a month traveling in yeah. the US. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I, I feel like I've also learned a lot about cons in general mm -hmm. and how to manage my energy. Yeah. And there's kind of like a lot of learnings around that because we Thanks. did do those two back-to-back -back cons mm. pretty much back-to-back -back. and yeah. in between all we were doing was running around and trying to do touristy things so yeah escape rooms very and things busy. <laughs> yeah. um but also I want to say you know apologies that obviously we haven't been doing any board game reviews yes um and we have a backlog we've also had people send us some mail here in the states mm. we'll cover that when we get back yes um, yeah, but yeah. thank you to all the people who yes. have done that um so yeah thank you for bearing with us we are having a great Vacation. And again, apologies that we're so late at getting back to comments or anything like that. We will, we will eventually, catch yes, catch up with all of that. Yeah. 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 You know, I was hoping that we would get around to some more board game cafes in San Fran. It was kind of one thing that I've noticed is in every city that we've been in, mm -hmm. looking up board game cafes and a lot of them have like seems though as though a lot of them have closed down over the pandemic yeah. which is really sad it's really sad yeah, yeah so and um i didn't realize how bad that was until now we're jumping into cities yeah. and it's like you know temporarily or permanently closed yeah. a lot of these venues so hopefully you know post pandemic that starts we start to see the hobby re-manifest itself in mm. its physical form in yeah. these beautiful spaces that bring people together because yeah. I think that's been something that's been so special about this trip is mm -hmm. just sitting and meeting with people with you viewers wow. um, with other so content great. creators yeah. it's just been really lovely after mm. you know being in our house and, and making this content kind of in a bubble for so long yeah it's, yeah, it's, absolutely, yeah. yeah it's given a new dimension to gaming again well it's yeah it's sort of it made it it made all those connections and those friendships really tangible and real and yeah. it's like yeah it's like that extra layer of the humanity of it mm. like it's you know it's like and, and you can play games online and and sort of still have you know foster some relationships online but this there's, there's just something extra there's that specialness of being in person that mm. is just so yeah. nice and so magical and it sort of reminds me of like part of the big magic that attracted us to the hobby yes, in the first place exactly yeah. so i'm looking forward to getting back and like trying to instigate more of the in-person yeah. gaming and yeah. having more like frequent board game nights and things mm. with friends i hope if you are watching this that you are able to do that now getting back to the table yeah. with friends Even and if family it's slowly and obviously in a safe way yeah, yeah. Uh, but we will be back really soon. We are back at home next weekend. Yeah. And so we will get back to our usual schedule Hopefully. of board game reviews. We will reviews. be traveling over the weekend, so I'm not quite sure how we'll oh, yeah. we, we be able to get. Into this time warp, we, we fly on Friday and we get home on Sunday night. Yeah. And then, of course, we're going to go get Boston. But anyway, we will yeah. be home next weekend and then we'll start recording from there. Yeah. Um, but hope wherever you are, you're having a wonderful Monday and we will be back with more content soon. But bye from San Fran and bye for now. Bye.